Aoi, 22 years old. I just graduated from college and started working. I'm the type of girl who's only interested in good-looking guys. To be honest, I really don't like ugly guys. I just can't accept them physically. Nope. When I was in college, I had a crush on my senior AG, who was arguably the most handsome guy there, and I managed to date him. I was so ready to become his wife, but then... Suddenly, the government created the law known as forced coupling. It sounds really stupid, but as part of the measures to counter the declining birth rate, they decided to force people to marry when they turned 20. And the worst part is, because it would be unfair if some people could marry someone they liked and some people married someone they didn't, all unmarried couples were forced to break up. We had to marry someone decided by the government. Today, I'm meeting my marriage partner who was decided for me for the first time. At the City Hall. Okay, so this is Akira-san, your marriage partner. Congratulations! N nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I can't believe it. Am I going to marry him? <sighs> they said the AI chose a genetically compatible partner, but... He's so ugly! She's an extremely rude girl. Well... Your marriage certificate has been accepted, so from now on, you two are husband and wife. Now, please enjoy the process of deciding in which house to live together and all that. <laughs> Good luck! How irresponsible. Excuse me? Yes? About which house to live in. If you don't mind, why don't you come to mine? Well... We're a married couple after all, I guess we should live together? At least we should try in the beginning. Okay. Good. I've got all the tools I need, so please look forward to it. Uh, good. Wait, did he say tools? Although something was bugging me, I decided to follow him to his house. He lives in an apartment three kilometers away from my place. It looks like we'll have no trouble carrying my stuff over later. But seriously, why of all people did they match him to me? If I knew this was gonna happen, I should have married Eiji sooner or escaped from Japan. <sighs> Eiji, I wonder who he married. I have to forget about A.G. This guy is my husband now. No matter how much I think about it, that fact won't change. By the way, you said you have some tools earlier. What kind of tools? Please don't say you're into something extreme. What in the world is he going to do to me? Aoi-san, which do you prefer? Sweet or spicy? What? Well, if it's the lovey-dovey kind or the hard kind... I prefer the lovey-dovey kind, but... Um, sweet, I guess? Ah, women like sweet after all, don't they? Do you have a problem with hard ones or are soft ones maybe not enough for you? What? Excuse me? Hard ones? Not enough? What is he talking about? Well, not much. I... I like it pretty normal, maybe? <laughs> and you like it both day and night? N no no I mean, it's better at night. Good. I think I can go with what I've already prepared. What is he going to do to me? Oh, that's what he meant by tools. Cooking utensils. I thought he meant something naughty. <laughs> that was too ambiguous. <laughs> She's an extremely rude girl. I'm too embarrassed for myself. I'm the ultimate damsel in disgrace. <laughs> it was just lunchtime when we were meeting at the city hall, and I thought you might be hungry. So I prepared some food before I went. 
Here you are. Th th thank you. Oh, it's delicious. What, are you a chef or something? Oh, no, it's just a hobby. No way. You're a genius. This is definitely no ordinary sandwich. Ah, I also baked the bread myself. Really? I'm really glad you're happy with it, Aoi-san. What's this feeling? Just for him being able to make such delicious food. I'm starting to think he's a really good person. She is an extremely rude girl. I'm thinking Japanese food for dinner. How about simmered yellowtail? Everything is fine. Oh, right. I also made a moose cake for dessert. I love it! I'll bring it now, then. I didn't expect him to be a genius cook. My stomach has already been completely grabbed. He already looks like the owner of a fancy cafe. Actually, Akira-san was good at everything from cooking to housework in general. We're both working, and I like housework. So you can leave all the housework to me if you want. No, no. I can do laundry and cleaning just as well as anyone else. On days when we're both working, we can share the housework. Aoi-san, are you the type of person who is meticulous about separating colors and the amount of detergent used? No, I'm not like that. Good. I'm not the type to be finicky about such things either. He's such a good person. Um, about the bedrooms. Let's keep them separate until we get used to living together. After a month or so, why don't we think about it again? He's perfect. Such a gentleman. Akira-san's home-cooked food has made me develop feelings for him. And his attention to detail was so wonderful that I was becoming more and more fascinated with him. Two weeks later, I'm hosting a husband bitching chat for the worst couplings by the government. Do you want to come to Aoi? Husband bitching? I can't think of anything to complain about. Actually, I have nothing to complain about, so I'm not coming. Sorry. Aoi-san. Urgh, you lucky one. I'm going to cook pasta sauce for lunch. Do you like carbonara? Yes, of course. Also, Akira-san, I want to cook with you too. In my mind, Akira-san was no longer just an ugly man. In the blink of an eye, he had become the person I loved the most in this world. One day, half a year after we got married, I went shopping with Akira-san and we came across Eiji walking with a woman. Ah. Oh. Oh, who's this? Ah, uh, your ex? <laughs> um, yes. Oh, so they made you break up with AG and marry that ugly guy. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> when he said that, I got really pissed. Hey, wait! My husband is not ugly. Well, he's overwhelmingly uglier than my husband, though. I admit that AG is handsome, but my husband is also handsome. I feel sorry for AG if you are the kind of person who looks down on other people's husbands. Please apologize. What? Why would I? I'm sorry. My wife said something very rude. I'm sorry. What? AG? Oh no, don't apologize. I know very well what I look like. You are not like that, Akira-san. Aoi-san. He looks like a wonderful husband. Yes. I know it's a trivial thing to say, but it's so delicious that I want to stuff my cheeks full. It's the first time I've ever felt like my body and my mind were being melted. My body has reached the point where I just can't live without him. Attention, she's talking about cooking. Bye! Was I a little too flirtatious in public? Hmm, I felt a bit shy about it, actually. 
Um, Aoi-san? Yes? Well, I like you. The way you eat my food like a squirrel and look so happy. You're so cute. I also like how you try to help me even though you aren't used to doing housework. I wonder if this is in return for what I said earlier, but he was trying his best to tell me what he liked about me and melted my heart. Um, about tonight, can I join you? Yes, what should we cook together? Lately, I've been enjoying cooking with you, so I'm tempted to try everything. Oh, not the cooking. You know, we could share a bed tonight. <laughs> I don't know why the AI decided that we are compatible. It could be as appropriate as the lottery. However, we were lucky enough to fall in love with each other. I think this is called fate.